All right, guys, it's Ben. I bought some new pedals. You know what it's like when you get some new gear. It's just really exciting and really inspiring. So I've been playing them quite a bit. I got the Tama Speed Cobras. They're really cool. And I want to show you kind of what I think about them having played them for the last few weeks. So I've had a lot of different pedals over the years and I've kind of moved from like chain driven stuff to strap driven and then I had some direct drive pedals, I've tried the Axis and I had some tricks and uh, yeah they're all great pedals and I think what I've taken from having had and played quite a few pedals is that it really does depend on what style of pedal you want as to what's going to be good for you. So I kind of went all the way through the evolution and came back to wanting to play some chain driven pedals. So I tried a few ones out and these felt the best on the day. I've always had a really good experience with Tama stuff. Literally, I am playing the same hi-hat pedal from when I started playing drums when I was like 13. My uncle gave me a hi-hat stand and it's this Tama Iron Cobra. This hi-hat stand has done every Dorje, Tosca show, all my old bands toured and it's still absolutely rock solid. So I can definitely vouch for how durable the Tama stuff is. And you know, that definitely factored in when I was looking at pedals. I was looking at some sort of cheaper pedals as well and I thought, well, they're probably great, but I need to know if I'm gonna spend that kind of money on some double pedals that they're absolutely gonna last and they're gonna be reliable on the road because the last thing you want is your gear to go down in the middle of a tour. So I guess the most obvious thing from the design is that they're longboard pedals. And that means that they actually extend longer than what is now called shortboard pedals. So that just means that, you know, because the hinge is further back on the base plate, you actually get a bit more footboard to actually play with. So if you're wanting to do, you know, heel toe technique, or you've got quite big feet, then definitely longboards are a way to go. Nothing wrong with shortboards, uh, they just, there's a different feel. So again, you know, experiment. There's two cool features on the spring that I like as well. I like the fact that you can detach the top of the spring, so when you want to store it and you want to put it in the case, and you have those beaters bent back, you don't have to have the spring attached, which is obviously, you know, putting tension on the spring and that's going to reduce its lifespan. But also, where the spring actually connects at the bottom, you can see that it actually moves with the motion of the pedal. And some other springs on other pedals are actually fixed. So if you think about it, if it's moving while the pedal's in motion, and it's kind of moving with the spring at the bottom, it's gonna keep more momentum. If it's fixed, it's gonna be adding resistance. So I think that's one of the features that definitely gives it that sort of fluid feel and gives it the speed. few more features that I think make it a really practical pedal. The toe clamp is really well designed. It actually moves to contour with the shape of your bass drum, so that actually makes it easier to get a really snug fit. That's cool. And also on the bottom of the pedals, they've got a heavy duty rubber that just grips to whatever you're on. So I used to use Velcro and sometimes it gets a bit tatty and you know scruffy over time, so that's cool. And also for actually securing the left slave pedal in place, there's two seriously heavy duty spikes you can just screw down and yeah, it's not budging. So there you go, new pedals. I love them, it's really exciting. It's always cool getting new gear, isn't it? When you're like, ah, this is inspiring, it's cool. But remember, pedals are a personal choice. Get whatever feels good to you. There's no best pedal in the world. There's no, you know, direct drive isn't better than chain driven. It's all personal choice. So go and play some pedals if you're looking for some new ones, test them properly. And there's no substitute for practice which I need to do more of and stop buying new pedals to try and get better at double bass. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.